In this video, we'll see briefly how you might do a team time evaluation. It's somewhat similar to what we did with collaborative structuring last week. You can select the participants you'd like to participate in the team time. I'm doing this uh, from Kate Walton's perspective. Uh, and then you can uh, invite the participants. And uh, if you want to invite them by email, you'd put the time that you want to have the meeting in here. And because it would be all at the same time, we'd be look, doing this together. And then you just send out the email. Or if you want to invite by phone, uh, here's a information you can tell people on the phone. Or you can copy and paste it into uh, your uh, clipboard and then send that in an email. So to start the meeting, we click on Start Session. And then we would just go through and let me adjust the screen here. And just take people through and they would see the same screen and they put their judgments in and you just go through the evaluation. And then in the meeting. A couple of fine points. It's a good idea to hide the judgments as you go through the meeting. Because, as you'll find out if you read the book, Wisdom of Crowds, diversity, independence, and decentralization are three important uh, parameters or, or things to keep in mind when you're combining uh, judgments of people. And so, uh, when people put their judgments in now, because it's hidden, they won't be able to see each other's judgments. 